All right, guys, this is Jerry. I just wanted to make this quick video. Uh, this might help some people out because I ran in, in, into an issue and didn't realize it. Um, this is a iFlight FH5. Um, it's not the true dead cat like the DC5, but just right before it, the air unit for DJI mounts in the middle and uh, I have the SMA adapters in the back to do the dual antennas out back. It's actually a custom piece that my buddy made, but um, the, the original one comes with one too. Um, anyway, I, uh, I had an issue because the adapter cables that you see in here wouldn't reach my air unit when I ordered the factory DJI one. Um, this is a, a factory DJI one, and you can tell because the cable's black, and when it goes there, it doesn't quite reach the air unit. Um, looks like it does in this video, but it doesn't. It's too short. Everything's too tight. So what I did is I got on Amazon, like anybody else, and I ordered um, some adapters, different length. I know this one's shorter, so this is probably a bad example, but if you look at the one that's in there, it's longer. It meets where the air unit mounts, and... Uh, it, it makes everything not so tight as the, the original one. Um, so in doing this, ever since I built this drone, now mind you, this is my first DJI drone, it's had an issue with reception. It's been pretty poor. I mean, I don't usually fly very far away, but it's been poor. I was kind of surprised and, and a little disappointed in DJI. And so, I, and I built two of these. I have two of these exact same frames. They both get, you know, mediocre reception. And I just figured, you know, there's something wrong. Maybe it's the aftermarket adapter cable that's that's got some sort of high resistance in it or something. I've replaced them. I've put new ones on. Um, and it still haven't worked out my issue. So today I got a new iFlight um, XL5, a true X and the air unit mounts in the back. So I don't need the straight adapters anymore. I need some 90 degree adapters to go up to um, this really nice mount that iFlight does. And so I'm getting online and I'm trying to order some adapters and, and I see that there's, you know, not only the SMA adapters, which it looks like this, and it's got a, a female SMA and they also have, um, I, I wanted to do the DJI one because if I got a DJI one with a 90 degree, it's a lot more flexible. So when I'm kind of jamming it back in here, it'll flex easier and won't break the cable. When I did that, I noticed that DJI's listed as an RP SMA. RP SMA is a, if you look here, it's got a male piece on it. So... I couldn't find the, the female one. And I go, well, I think I ordered some of those a long time ago, but they were too short. Let me look at that. So I look at it and sure enough, it's an RP SMA, not an SMA. Um, so then I grab the antennas that I'm running that are, that are DJI and I look at them and they are SMA, which is not correct for every aftermarket antenna and every aftermarket antenna adapter so if you look here you know i'm no wizard but tell me female female those don't go together they screw together but they don't connect together um so that said if you're using the stock dji ones you need to use the dji cables if you're using aftermarket antennas like these really nice uh tbs ones then use the aftermarket cable um this is going to take care of my whole reception issue that I had, and it's, uh, I don't have bad air units, I'm going to assume at this point, unless running no antennas have messed up my air units, but I mean, I've gone maybe a half a mile, three quarters of a mile on these with no antennas, so that says a lot about DJI, that's, that's pretty huge, because my antennas were never connected, female, female. So anyway, just thought you guys might appreciate that. Um, I It's been driving me nuts for a long time, and I just had the aha moment, and it was stupid. I can't believe I didn't even ever notice that. So anyway, thanks.